Promise Theory Basic Concepts by Mark Burgess Have you ever wondered why recipes don't lead to perfect cakes for everyone all of the time? Or why babies don't all look the same in spite of being made by the same process? What is it that makes the stars shine for billions of years and then fizzle out? And what makes your car run for miles and then suddenly fail to start? No matter how good the plans or how detailed the instructions, our expectations about the world have limitations. Our information is incomplete. One answer to the question is that the world has both remarkable predictability but also maddening uncertainty. But that's not helpful. If we could only know where the uncertainty was going to come from, find a way to understand it, perhaps even immunize against it, then we'd be on to something. Promise Theory was developed to help answer questions like these about technology. But it turns out that the same ideas can apply to any situation, from distant stars, to cars, even to ordinary supermarkets. If we just approach the problem in a regular way, we can understand quite a lot by uncovering where uncertainty comes from. Often it comes from taking our assumptions for granted. This is the first of a series of short films about the concepts behind Promise Theory. Promise Theory is about how people and things come together and cooperate towards goals. What do we mean by people and things? Actually we mean literally anyone or anything that can represent an idea or embody some behavior. It could be a person, a robot, a plant, a factory, a business, a sperm cell, even an intergalactic cloud of dust. In many cases it's not so important what form an agent takes, it's about what promises it can keep. But to avoid having to say too much about the specific nature of who or what, when we want to speak about general principles, we just call all of these possible things agents. Cooperation means that agents may have to work together to keep their promises. When they cooperate, agents promise to play a particular role, contributing to some shared outcome that involves more than one agent. They might depend on one another to share a workload, or one might depend on another for a skill it doesn't have. Without cooperation, we say that agents are autonomous. By default, they stand alone. They don't interact, they don't promise one another anything, they don't depend on one another in any way. This is the default state of all things. In order to cooperate, agents have to share information. They contribute what they're able to promise individually towards an outcome that's greater than any of them could manage alone. Cooperation adds new information about the relative roles of the agents and how the roles fit together. A cake is more than flour, sugar, eggs and chocolate. It also matters how the ingredients are put together. Water is more than hydrogen and oxygen mixed. A table can only promise its function if the legs and top are arranged in the right way. In other words, we have to know how agents interact or what promises they make to one another to be able to predict what the outcome is. Why don't we just say what the agents should actually do, like describing a recipe or a flowchart? Well, that's certainly been the standard for thinking about outcomes since industrial times. But perhaps you've experienced the frustration of trying to follow a recipe, and when you're finished, the result is not at all what you expected. There are two problems with giving instructions. First of all, we're not always in a position to be able to tell agents what to do. When agents are simple, like atoms, their behaviors are fixed and immutable. We can't just tell them what they should be. They can only promise their actual nature, take it or leave it. Secondly, if we only tell agents what to do, but we don't explain what all stakeholders should expect, then we have no way of knowing whether the intended outcome has been achieved or not. Promises document intent, not just actions. When dealing with humans, telling agents what to do doesn't always result in the expected behavior either. Actually, the same is true of machines. 
Even if they could comply, they may not choose to. They may be unable or unwilling. When we give a command, we still don't know what agents intend to do. Without several communications back and forth, we can't know what an agent promises individually. So thinking about cooperation in terms of promises is a kind of shortcut to the truth. Imposing doesn't lead to certainty. Focusing on an agent's actions rather than its intentions could actually make matters worse. If more than one person gives commands, that might lead to inconsistency itself, and then even more uncertainty. If two commanders give conflicting instructions to an agent, it has no way to resolve that conflict on its own, so better that the intentions only come from within the agent itself. Imposition doesn't bring certainty. In promise theory, we assume that agents can only make promises about their own behavior, because imposing intent on others blindly is completely uncertain. For the purpose of planning and understanding, it's better to think of agents as black boxes who promise outcomes by whatever means they can. So is this really better? Well, suppose you need help from a doctor. You could try to impose on the doctor's help uninvited. The doctor's under no obligation to help and may even be annoyed by the imposition. To work well together, doctors and patients need to build up trust over time. This is what promises do. When we see an agent keeps its promise, this leads to trust. So doctors can promise appointment times and clinic hours. Agents can promise their need for help when they can attend. And the doctor can be more cooperative. The doctor may promise to see agents when possible. In all cases, making promises on each side offers more useful information to bring about cooperation. In positions, don't work without promises. So promise theory doesn't claim that agents can't try to impose on one another, only that this isn't an effective form of collaboration. We may end up being able to expect little more than random chance. For impositions to work, agents basically have to have already promised that they're going to accept the imposition, so we have stable assumptions. In promise theory, we choose not to assume that agents will always succeed or be able to do as they're told. Instead, we assume that every agent makes promises about what it intends which it may or may not reveal to other agents. Just take it or leave it. It's then up to the other agents to decide how to deal with this information and take into account the uncertainties. So what promises communicate is intent, not certainty. If intent is broad enough and propagates to all the intended parties and stakeholders, then agents will end up having enough information to be able to play their own role in a collaboration. So the idea of promise theory is this. If we could document and communicate enough about intended behavior and if agents were reliable, then we would have a way to understand and predict the outcome of collaboration between agents. Every agent still needs to know how to keep its promise by itself, but it doesn't need to communicate that information to everyone else. Also, it doesn't have to advertise its flowchart or secret recipe, because others don't need to know that as long as they trust one another. In fact, that information may confuse or mislead them. A collection of all agents needs to make a collective promise, just as a television or a computer can promise to be more than just the components that it's made from. But inside, each agent or each component only has to know about its own promises. You might think these are all quite simple ideas, and yet we choose to ignore them a lot of the time because we're used to thinking in terms of command and control, taking many promises around us for granted. But promises underlie our society, even our civilization, as well as the microscopic behaviors of atoms and organisms. Most of us don't even notice them until something doesn't go right. As a method for thinking about cooperation, promise theory helps us to see all kinds of systems from any agent's perspective in a unified way. We only need to learn how to identify the agents, some of which may be hidden, and figure out what they promise to understand the outcome.